So in this little video clip, I want to go through and show you guys how to imposition an 8-pager. A um, couple things we need to look at before we get started. You've got to look at your PDF, make sure it's set up right. Um, on a PDF that you send to a printer, you never want to put trim marks on it, but you want to make sure you include four side bleeds. So you, here you can see it's 8.75 by 11.25. It's got the required amount of pages. We don't see any problems with it. This should work. Okay, so picking up the bleed from the other page, which is what we actually want. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll go through and manually imposition this. So manually imposition this in InDesign. Uh, something else you need to have, I've gone through and made a, a dummy here, so you can look at the dummy that I'm going to be referring to. You see this is one side of the imposition, the form. Um, you have one, eight, four and five on that page and this particular one you've got two, seven, six and three. So that's my blueprint. That's how I know where the pages go. Okay, Pretty simple for an eight pager but we still do our dummy. So those are the dummies. We'll refer to those as we get into it. <clears throat> as we work in InDesign, we'll go to File, New, Make a New Document. Here you want to turn off facing pages. Um, I've got mine in Pikas. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and change that under the preferences, units and increments. Here we're going to change that to inches and inches here. Make it a little bit easier for us. So once again, go up to file a new document, turn off facing pages. You can have more options here. And in this section, you'll have your bleed. So we'll do full full bleed, standard bleed size is an eighth of an inch, uh, eight and a half by eleven is our document size, half inch margin, no facing pages. And, and in this case we don't need to do the number of pages yet because we'll we'll fix those. Now I, I messed up there, it's not going to be eight and a half by eleven. So for the size we're going to do these four up. So we'll do this 17 for the width and 22 and a half and the reason that we add the half inch in is we've got a, a half inch head trim just to be able to trim that edge as it's folded we need at least a quarter inch so as that's folded in half it gives us our quarter inch so the half inch is just for our head trim so once again the size is 17 by 22 and a half make sure you have more options with your bleed in there we don't really need to worry about the slug right now at that point you click OK gives you your document. We'll end up using pages eventually. Uh, as you can tell, mine are not facing pages. We turn that off. If you didn't turn that off, that could be problems later on. Just makes it a little bit more confusing. Uh, we're going to drag out some guides. Remember to drag your guides outside so they'll be in your bleed area. And we want this one actually to be at eight and a half. We're going to drag this one down. Now normally you would think this one would go at 11 inches. But we actually need to account for the bleed so that this will fit in our box. So we're going to go to 11.125. And once again, make sure you're outside the, the document area so that you will go through the bleed. The guide will go through the bleed. So 11.125. And this one we'll put at 11 should be 11 and a half, but we're going to account for that bleed, which accounts for the eighth of an inch, which in turn makes that 11.375. Now I'm going to purposely make that at an 11 and a half. And then come back, you can come back and select it. I just want to demonstrate that you can type in the exact increment and it will snap to it. Okay. So now we've got that set up. We need to go in and make some graphic boxes, some graphic frames. So we'll just use the rectangle frame tool, draw in a couple boxes here and match them to the guides. Now notice the size is 8.625 by 11.25. So we're not accounting for that extra bleed here. I'll show you how that works in a minute, but that's the measurements we need. So once we have that, I'm going to copy and paste this, making sure that I line that up perfectly. If your measurement's off, that could be problems later. Then I'm going to select both of those, copy and paste both of those, move those into that location, uh, line those up, and we've got those set up. Now, if you see here, anytime we bring a picture into this, it's going to be right side up, and that's what that letter P indicates. 
So all these boxes are right side up. Well, if we look at our, our dummy photo, you can actually see that it needs to be 1 and 8, and 4 and 5 are actually upside down. So we need to go through and change those to make those right side up or upside down within our document. So we wanted to match this dummy right here. Once again, we want 4 and 5 to be upside down. So in order to do that, it's a, a quick way to do it. We can go ahead and select those boxes and rotate them. Make sure your point of origin is in the center, so they'll rotate in the center of these and rotate those around. Okay, we just click that button twice or this one twice and see how the letter P is now upside down. That indicates when we place the pages in there, they'll come in upside down. Uh, as far as that page, we're set. So now we can drag this down and to the new icon using the pages palette and that copies it with all of our marks and our boxes. You notice that these boxes are upside down as well. So we're, we're ready. We're good to go now. So at that point, we'll have to go back and refer to our dummy. See that dummy is page 4 and 5, 1 and 8. That's what we're working with. So we're going to look at our dummy and do enter in 1 and 8 and 4 and 5. Those are the pages we're going to do. So we'll start here with 1. Select that box. Make sure you have the black arrow. File and Place. And let's go to the desktop and locate this newsletter. Now when you import a PDF, you always need to check Show Import Options. Otherwise, you'll always get the first page. If you want to pick the second page, so on and so forth, you need to check that box. So we selected the, the PDF, we selected Show Import Options, we clicked OK, and we need to locate page 1. So here is where you can change the pages and this becomes critical. Over here you need to turn this to crop to crop otherwise it won't crop in the right area. So once you've got that set up, you've got page one in there, you can go ahead and click OK and that should place it in. Okay. Noticing one thing, if we select that box it's not overlapping. We actually need to move that that extra bleed edge and tuck it underneath there. So you want to select the regular or the direct selection tool, the white arrow and be careful not to double click it because that will switch you to the, the regular selection tool. So once again we're going to go back to the direct selection tool, click and drag it to where it hides that an eighth of an inch behind there. Okay. Once again that's the picture not the box itself. The box itself stays in the same location. And you only need to do that on these two right here. We come in and bring in page 8 File in place, making sure it's cropped to crop, page 8. We won't need to do that. It'll actually fit exactly where we need it to be. So only this page and that page will we need to do that to. Once again, I can show you that here. And I think this was page 4. 4 or 5, maybe it was 5. Okay, and once again, refer to the dummy. Yep, 4 and 5. So 5 is right here. And see how this page needs to actually be tucked in. So we need to move that in there. And once again, make sure you use the direct selection tool, not the black arrow. Be careful not to double click it. That'll switch the tool. So this one should be page 4. Crop to crop. Place it in. And we are set on that page. Going into the next page, you can refer to the other dummy. Six and three are on top, two and seven. So let's start with six. Place in page six. Making sure that you pick crop to crop. And I already forgot the page. I think it's three. Three. So place page three in. And you are set on that one. Okay. That one actually needs to be tucked in, so we need to select that one, tuck it in. Go to the next box, this should be 2, bring in 2, doesn't need to be tucked in, bring in 7, place page 7 in there, and that one does need to move over an eighth of an inch. Okay.